Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the City Host and as you can see we are back at playing some Minecraft, finally. To be perfectly honest with you, uh, I have been playing Minecraft just on another server and uh, lately uh, I was sick and stuff so I didn't really <laughs> uh, have the mood to just uh, record videos and make streams but uh, hopefully I can be back in full action uh, soon, <laughs> uh, but um, so I guess that's the good news, the bad news, that I, I no longer play on this server, the LTT server, because uh, as of late February 2022, uh, this server haven't been updated at all for over a year. Uh, I mean, this server still runs 1.16.5 So when 1.18 came out just three months ago, I was like, okay, this is it. I mean, I can't keep playing on a server where there are like no people uh, aside from a few stragglers every now and then. So this server is pretty much dead at the moment and uh, I would like to play elsewhere, but uh, before I go and show you the new server and the new opportunities, I would like to just take a quick look around uh, in my base to see what I have done in a little over 2100 hours of gameplay, which was a lot. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> just the sheer thought that I put over 2100 hours into this server in about um, maybe nine to ten months period so yeah i played a lot i guess you could figure out that i kind of love minecraft but anyway as you can see uh, actually i am at my base at the moment uh, actually on top of my base uh, on the mob farm you can see there are my various automated farm that make cactus bone meal pumpkins melons and all the goods that uh, you can see around the honey farm i have uh, at least three honey farms that i know of maybe four at this point i have no idea <laughs> oh, the mob farm still works Although it's horribly inefficient, there is nothing that would really uh, help the mobs to climb down, so it's not automated. I will fix that another time. I mean, on another server, because I am not gonna fix that whole thing. Iron farm, of course, which is very inefficient. I mean, ah, uh, yeah. I never got around to properly fix it, but I have to admit it it made me lots and lots of iron, so I can't really say that it was a failure. Uh, Design-wise, yes, it is a failure because it was a horrible design that I came up with. Uh, <laughs> that's why it's a horrible design. Um, but in the end it worked, I mean it gave me enough iron. So I never had uh, any problems with that. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can see that still there is some and I have chests of iron blocks somewhere. Oh, I haven't been here for quite some time. Some stuff are really starting to back up. Oh, and if you can hear it, that's a golem. Oh, all this stuff, I mean, you can see I really into collecting all these goods uh, but anyway let's move on under me there is uh, actually a uh, sugarcane and bamboo farms uh, we should really get out of here uh, this is of course the big building the huge mostly uh, brick building that I never really used for anything, I just built it because I wanted to build something big to get into building big uh, things because most of my builds are rather small I mean you can see this small blackstone castle on, uh, on a hill, I mean I call this a castle 
whereas you can barely fit in a couple of people inside of it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there is my base, of course, that I am kind of proud of, even though it took me three months to finish the roof. I had uh, this village here with finished houses earlier than the roof on my base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, let's take a quick peek. Oh, yeah, we love the mods. Too bad only Langleyman is active nowadays. I have seen him like a couple of weeks ago. It was really nice to see him. Uh, yeah, these are just silly rooms that I made. I didn't really have an uh, really idea. I did not work on the interior at all, pretty much, so... Most of this place is either storage or empty. Like, uh, I think I made the attic. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is nothing. I am not really into interior making, but uh, I think I will give it a try. On the next server, of course. And this was my main base. As you can see, I amassed lots and lots of things all over the place Ooh, I am kind of rich still I have so many things and it took me so long to get these things I mean you can see if you look down yeah you can see chests and more chests and more chests like 40-50 uh, level down this sorting and storage system just goes and goes endlessly like i have dozens of chests of uh, redstone and coal ore down there so wow i mean yeah here my main problem was that i never uh, discarded anything if i had something on me whether it's rotten flesh dirt sand sticks anything i just put it away mm -hmm. uh, and saying that oh it will be good for something which of course was not the case but anyway let's move on <laughs> uh, yeah at some point i moved the animals down there because they looked weird in the village i have all kinds of animals as you can see lots and lots of them oh that vibrating thing i never really liked but yeah most of the places down there never re re really got finished. Uh, this is my so-called super smelter. Manual, of course. I never automated such things. Uh, another bee farm. Storage. More storage. Even more storage. I mean, I really got into this making of things. And as you can see, I have huge fields of stuff that's carrots maybe over there yeah bamboo and this when i go down i mean you can sense the scope of this thing the time it took me to build this place up properly how do i get over uh, yeah i just want to go down so you can see how much i actually mined out here yeah yes we are at level nine as you can see and uh, anything between nine and uh, 64 i think that's the ocean level everything is mined out i mean these these are all the farms about me that you can see i mean this is just ridiculous and i mined a lot yeah, these are all mined out. This is not here. Uh, but again, this is again mined out. Uh, this is under the big building, the big brick building. I mean, yeah, that's also mined out because why not? I really spent quite some time doing this. <laughs> uh, but oh well. And of course, when you come up here still as you can see more storage because why would i want to discard some stone or sand or 
Well, that's empty, but grass blocks. I mean, yeah, you can see slime. For Langley, our resident prankster troll admin or mod, I don't even know, whatever. But as you can see, yeah, these are all uh, mostly filled. Uh, not these ones. Yeah, because I, I, I constantly enlarged the storage so all the ores can't fit. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was a ridiculous task. I never got around to make a dragon's cave with the horde because uh, I wanted to make something natural looking, but uh, I am not good, good uh, with that. I can't really make anything that's not a rectangle, let's say. I mean, I guess you can see. You can see that everything is a rectangle around here. And all the storage, everything. Ah, but I don't really mind it. I mean, this is what I love to do. So this is what I do. Uh, anyway, let's move on. So, I mean, this was my base with all the underground and sky farms. And this was the next thing that I'm really happy with. The village, where villagers can roam freely. I mean, they are, of course, uh, limited by the gates and fences on all sides. Wow. Golems do like swimming, it seems. <laughs> uh, I kept decorating this place, redoing... I mean, the early houses are rather simple, as you can see. Mm, nothing really great about them. Oh, this is the Mason's Hall. Now I am really proud of this one. Although, uh, I never really got around to have all the Masons with all the 16 blocks. I think I got to 14. But then, like as you can see, I have issues with the Masons who are just running around, not really tending to their uh, business. Come on, come on, get in there, get in, get, 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 get in there. I said get in there, yes. Thank you. You see that? <laughs> what I have to put up with? <laughs> oh dear, oh yeah. Ah. As you can see, I have my fancy cape for migrating to the Microsoft account. Which is horrible, I have to tell you. I mean, whenever I sign into uh, Minecraft with the Minecraft l launcher, since I migrated my account, it takes me at least half a minute. Back it when it was Mojang account, it took me like a couple of seconds at least. So, thank you, Microsoft. I really <coughs> you. So, this is the trading hall with farmers, librarians. I traded a lot with the farmers. I have almost all the books. Uh, sadly, not all, because that was really messed up in the server with the system. But mm, let's not talk about that. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, I, of course, have my shop where I sell all the nice goodies that I could put my hand on. Uh, enchanted books, whatever. This is the stables, my very first shop. As you can see, I was selling lots and lots of stuff here. Hmm. Stables, stuff. This is my manual villager breeder. Oh, I really hated these guys. I really have to figure out how to make a, a, a decent uh, villager breeder that's automated. So. I don't have to do anything, I just get new villagers every now and then in minecarts, so yeah. That would be the goal, for sure. <sighs> the village goes on and on and on. <laughs> nice little decorations. I mean, before 1.18, uh, emerald ores were, were actually rare. So, I had like two stacks, I think. And that's after lots and lots of mining. I don't want to overestimate, but I think that I have mined like two or three hundred hours 
just for diamonds because I needed a lot. Because I was making my city. As you can see with the nice buildings, eh, more or less nice. Uh, these are under admin protection now. They are claimed by the admins because I asked them because people started grief them and uh, that's just awful. So now they are like that till uh, eternity. Yeah, I mean, I haven't finished everything. I have made buildings that are pretty much empty by the end because I really lost uh, uh, my mood to play here because there were just no people left. I, I was just building, sometimes I have spent hours and hours on this server totally alone. <sighs> well, I guess this was my empire. As you can see, that's my base, with the main building, the village, with the villagers, and this is my city that I built alone. Well, with the exception of that foundation that somebody started making, but they never finished it. Figures. And that house that I haven't built, but I had to uh, renovate it multiple times because people are just griefing everything that they want. And as you can see, there are still lots and lots of uh, empty lands that I never got around to build anything on them, but... The ones that I did, they are re really nice, I think. I mean, let's check into my mine. <laughs> Figures. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Oh. They will just pay around like that. As you can see, I have spent quite some time to mine out things and decorating them all over the place Ooh. <laughs> and this i mean i made this the whole thing wow it took so long and and you know uh, i had issues with building things that took really long so that's one reason why most of my buildings are rather small and cozy because if I have to build a small building that takes me an hour or two, that's easy. But if it's a big build that takes hours or days, uh, yeah, I have issue with those. This is my city home that I never used, but I, I guess it's kind of nice. I actually made interior here, which is like, yeah, nothing fancy, nothing uh, extraordinary. But I, I kind of liked it. Let's see, this is a shop for all the wool, I here have a wooden lock shop, I mean this is a sawmill, I build this, and here we can go to the forge, oh, what's this, cart with netherite blocks, do you know how many times people actually came here and tried to take it? <laughs> well, you cannot do that. This is claimed land. <laughs> yeah, same with these. I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, all this stuff. Oh, look, another netherite block. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you play hundreds and then thousands of hours, you just... Uh, get the stuff all the stuff you need and i i was not in the top 10 richest persons on the server probably ever but uh, i was quite rich i spent 3.5 million in-game monies to buy land and uh, yeah that's kind of a lot i mean the richest player has like uh, seven, eight million maybe. Had, well, one and a half years ago when they were playing. But anyway, I have the Foxy, of course, because I wanted to make something cute. Slime Temple, the library. Uh, this was a big build for me. Multiple stories. 
designing all the rooms and everything. This wasn't easy. And what's there? Oh, another honey farm, because why not? This is a diner. Where I could get, like, free food and stuff. Whoa. Oh, actually some are missing, so that means that people were here. That's nice. I have a water mill, a windmill. I also have a lighthouse, There's some other buildings there that are also empty. Really, most buildings are empty. Like, I think this is one of my best houses that I have ever built. I mean, I... I am probably the most proud of this house. I mean the exterior, because if you go inside, I think it's here, yeah, you realize that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the interior is rather empty. I, I mean, it's not totally undecorated, but uh, yeah, it's empty, so there's nothing to do here. So let's move on. I have some ducks with all the bears. Ah, uh, the witch tower, where I wanted to bring some witches, but I never g got around to do that, sadly. Ah, uh, sandstone build. I really like this. The color palette is ah, perfect. Where I saw discs. I don't think that I ever sold a single one. Maybe because of the price is <laughs> ridiculous, but anyway. Um, this is the marketplace, with all the market. Buy my book! <laughs> I cannot make uh, as good as segways as Linus can. Right? <laughs> oh, Luis! <laughs> Oh, right to repair forever. What else do we have here? Uh, another villager breeder. Ah, this was meant to be my uh, warp. But sadly, you can have only one warp on this server, which means that I already had one in the shop at my base, so I could not make one here. And uh, yeah, that's one reason most people never ever heard about this place, but anyway. Uh, free bookshop, uh, I mean in, uh, enchanted bookshop. And we are here again, this was the tavern. This was, I think, one of the two buildings that I have uh, seen online. A build that was uh, really good looking, inspiring to me. So I made it uh, using some elements, basically the... What was that? Basically the main floor plan and the L shape. But the materials, the details, that's pretty much all me. Oh, this makes sounds. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, Twin Dragons Tavern. No, well, yeah, that's legit. Flower shop because you must have a flower shop. I mean, what kind of uh, city doesn't have a flower shop? Sacrilege. I think I wanted to build a monastery at first, but it turned out to be a school. Well, happens. This was another house that I had really high hopes for, but it turned out... Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this really looks like a prison. <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. I mean, when I started to build it, I had such ideas and, and I really thought that this will be my best build on the server. And uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> This is, I think that the only house that I have built on this server that I have, that I truly wish that I never have. <laughs> uh, I should just TNT the whole thing, but yeah, I don't really uh, have the energy to put effort into that. 
Yeah, there are some other houses here and there, but they are mostly empty or not that much interesting. So, let's have a word with you guys. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. So, um, I actually have been playing on another server for a little over two months. I have achieved uh, a lot. I have made a nice build. I am posting... Uh, pictures on Twitter. I will include the new server's uh, address in this description because I think that um, that's a lively nice server. There are really nice people. I mean uh, on this server I have spent so far over 2100 hours and there is only one person, one single person who was friendly towards me. Uh, and on the other server where I play now currently, there are at least five and I haven't played uh, like more than 500 hours there. So yeah, that's, uh, I think that's a better server. Although I must admit if this server was uh, updated, I might come back because there were really nice uh, modifications. But uh, yeah, I guess that's the past now. So anyway, what can you expect? Uh, I will make some new videos uh, about the new server. I will probably more likely do streams, so follow me on Twitch if you like that. I will definitely put up uh, screenshots, hopefully every single day, uh, because seems people like that the most. And I guess see you on the other server. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.